wolf chekhov effect this is an effect observed in the thyroid gland in response to intake of excess iodine before going forward you please make sure that you know the basics of how thyroid hormone synthesis and release occur now putting it into words wolf chekhov effect what exactly it is whenever a person takes in excess iodine it causes a number of actions one is it causes inhibition of release of the thyroid hormone from the thyroid gland second is it causes inhibition of the thyroid hormone synthesis this action of excess iodine intake which causes inhibition of thyroid hormone synthesis is known as wolf chekhov effect so inhibition of thyroid hormone synthesis and not the inhibition of thyroid hormone release is known as wolf chekhov effect now whenever iodine is given or iodine is taken in it helps in increasing the thyroid hormone synthesis so it aids but when excess iodine is taken in it itself starts acting as inhibitory and causes decreased synthesis of hormone the thyroid hormone synthesis resulting into wolf chekhov effect now i'll just quickly brush up on how thyroid hormone synthesis occurs iodine from blood circulation is taken in through sodium iodine symporter passes through the penrein molecule and it is attacked by the thyroid peroxidase where it causes iodination coupling organification of the iodine on tyrosine residues of thyroglobulin resulting in formation of t3 and t4 and they are stored here attached to thyroglobulin molecule in the form of thyroid colloid this is how thyroid hormone is released by the process of endocytosis where it forms a vesicle where lysozymes get attached the, the these lysozymes release endopeptidases and form a digestive vesicle these endopeptidases cut the thyroglobulin molecule and cause release of t3 t4 in the blood circulation Now let's see how exactly when a person takes in excess iodine it affects the functioning of a follicular cell. When excess iodine is taken in it causes formation of iodopeptides. These iodopeptides are responsible for these actions that occur due to excess iodine. The first is that it down regulates the expression of sodium iodine symporter on the membrane of follicular cell and we know that sodium iodine symporter is responsible for the uptake of iodine from the blood circulation into the follicular cell so as this is inhibited there will be less iodine uptake by the follicular cell second is that it inhibits the action of thyroid peroxidase and we have seen that thyroid peroxidase is responsible for the synthesis of th so as this enzyme is inhibited it will cause decreased synthesis of thyroid hormone also organification will be inhibited next action is that it will inhibit the action of endopeptidases that were released by the lysozymes as endopeptidases are inhibited cutting of thyroglobulin molecule will not occur and t3 t4 will not be released into the blood circulation So first action was inhibition of sodium iodine symporter caused decreased iodide intake by the follicular cells resulting in lowering of intrathyroidal iodine content now as we know that the entry for iodine in the follicular cells if it is inhibited no iodine will, uh, will enter and the iodine content in the thyroid gland will start decreasing so lowering of intrathyroidal iodine content second and third actions were inhibition of thyroid peroxidase resulting in decreased thyroid hormone synthesis which will result into restoration of the thyroid colloid this effect is the wolf chekhov effect and the next action was endopeptidase inhibition resulting into decreased release of thyroid hormones in the blood now to this there is one exceptional case that is normally when excess iodine is taken in it causes decreased thyroid hormone synthesis due to formation of iodopeptides but there are some rare individuals where excess iodine if given it causes increased thyroid hormone synthesis rather than decreased synthesis resulting into hyperthyroidism and this is known as iod based off phenomenon it occurs in rare individuals resulting into hyperthyroidism this is all about wolf check